Hi my curious learners. So your grammar buddy mini is once again back with you to take you from your favorite platform learn forward onto your grammar journey with your book the grammar hub by feather cap and we are here with chapter 7 of your book and we are going to learn more about pronouns today are you ready to explore more let's start the journey okay in the circles given below write suitable article so we have done three articles a and the you know their uses let's quickly recall these are indefinite these are definite there was a list i taught you the is used before the names of so 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 and so right and a and are used to talk when we talk about something is gen in general and we talk about one and one more thing the difference between a uh, and was this is used with a consonant sound and an is used before a vowel sound so keeping these uh, in mind let's quickly think about what will be used here it's a ice cream orange umbrella elephant and aunt oh all these are one and all of them are starting with a vowel sound so what are you going to write here in this circle very good so we'll always say an ice cream an orange an umbrella an elephant and an ant good now let's look at these lion book clock house bag oh all these are starting with a consonant sound so what will be right here the vowel a uh, very good now look at these these are moon and stars this is sun oh these are some mountains okay this is a monument a special building and this is clouds or we can say the sky so all these list just remember the use of the and we'll be using here the we say the sun the moon the stars the sky the clouds the taj mahal and the himalayas right so that was a quick recap let's start with the journey ahead and recalling we'll be doing there are two types of articles one is indefinite article in which we have a and the other is definite which means particular and there we have only one article the so what are indefinite articles a uh, and are indefinite articles and when we talk about something in general when we talk about singular specially singular noun in general that means we are not talking about anything particular then we use a uh, and a uh, before the consonant sound and and before the vowel sound right so let's quickly see here uh, and means one we have already said this is used for singular a boy any boy an aeroplane one aeroplane any aeroplane then we are using it before the general nouns that means anything in general a little bird means any bird any small bird we are talking about it's not any particular i saw an aunt means any aunt it was like in general we are saying we use a before a consonant sound like a ball a tree a dog we have already done so many words and an before the vowel sound now what do you mean by vowel sound and the consonant sound sometimes there are words that begin with a consonant h but when we are saying when we are sounding it when we are reading out pronouncing it then h is silent and we simply say r so this is the meaning of sound what's the initial sound that matters what you are writing does not matter so we say an r then we have an honest man because h is silent here right so this is the meaning of vowel and consonant sound now look at this word when you are writing you are starting with a vowel u is a vowel isn't it but when you speak it out what do you say a university 
and u is this sound year right so this is a university a union similarly if you talk about mp if i say he is a member of parliament i am saying ma member but when i am saying it in abbreviation form i'll say he is an mp why because when i am reading it i am not saying ma the sound of m is ma but when i am saying mp m is a this is the a sound so here you have the vowel sound so i'll say he is an mp he is an ml right is that clear to you what is the difference between vowel consonant and the vowel sound and the consonant sound so when we are talking about the use of the indefinite articles a uh, and we will be focusing on the sounds not the initial letters right can we go ahead okay so here's an exercise use a uh, and before these words so focus on the sound children yes good and orange here a flower okay this is easy for you i think you can do an ice cream good yes a pot pot or a planter you can say good this is very easy a table a fan a tiger and an elephant very good so just keeping in mind they are singular they are singular nouns and we have to think about the vowel sound and the consonant sound so can we move ahead okay now here we are with the definite article and unlike indefinite articles we have two a uh, and indefinite articles we have only one article the but we must know where to use that article so let's see where to use the articles first thing you have to remember is a uh, and is used only for singular but for the there is no such restriction you can use it for singular as well as plural right but when we are talking about something in particular because this is a definite article so we are talking about something specific something particular not anything in general this is particular right like the mango tree is big it means i am talking about some special mango tree might be it's in my garden my park my society anywhere but i am talking about that particular mango tree he climbed the mountain so when we are talking about something particular we use the article the now before a few names uh, like the names of rivers these are water bodies oceans then we have mountains so with these we use the like the ganges then we have the pacific ocean then we have the himalayas so for these before the names of water bodies or before the names of mountains we use the article the then before the names of newspapers also yes we say the times of india the hindustan times the economic times so before the names of newspapers we use the article the before the names of holy books also we use article the this is the definite article we say the ramayana the gita we say the bible the quran so with the holy books or the religious books also we use article the yes we have just learned in comparisons of adjectives that the is used before superlative degree so that uses right here the smartest girl so this is superlative degree we will use the before it then going ahead before the unique objects means universal objects that are one of their kind sun is only one everywhere moon is just one everywhere so they are the universal bodies universal things earth one stars are one of their kind sky is one so with these universal bodies we use the word the the sun the moon the stars the earth like this right so next is uh, sometimes we do not need any article in a sentence yes of course there are many places where articles are not needed so let's see what you have understood in definite and uh, definite article 
चूज वेदर ईच वर्ड नीड्स एन इनडेफिनेट आर्टिकल अ डेफिनेट आर्टिकल और नो आर्टिकल सो यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर द रूल्स वी हैव लर्न बेबी सिंगुलर एंड देन कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड सो अम्ब्रेला वेरी गुड एंड नाउ सी द नेक्स्ट वर्ड यूनिफॉर्म इट इज स्टार्टिंग विद अ वॉवल लेक्चर बट वॉट इज द साउंड U य sound. So what will come here? Very good. A uniform. Then, of course, a chair. This is also perfect. Very good. That's an astronaut. Then again, the sound is not vowel. It is a consonant sound. A university. Oh, a sun? No, this is a universal body. So the sun. Photo can be any photo in general. Bird can be any bird, and house can be any house. So we are talking about something in general and singular noun. So we are using a or an. So only here we are using the because that is a universal body. Can we move ahead now? Thank you. So fill in the blanks again with the article. Let's see where is dash book. I was reading. Oh, that means. you are talking about that particular book which you were reading so now it is not any one this is specific so good we will be using the here where is the book i was reading next i am thirsty may i have a glass you are talking in general good which bag is yours dash red bag is mine that means you are pointing out a particular bag here so when it becomes specific when it becomes particular you are talking where is your bag the red bag is mine it's not yours where is yours right so particular it becomes the this is dash dog any dog but when we are repeating about that dog in the next sentence now in the next sentence it becomes particular we are saying this is a dog and then same dog we are talking about so the dog is black and brown dash igloo oh that is in general we are talking about igloo and igloo is made of ice slabs dash mountain was difficult to climb a particular mountain we are talking about that means the one that i was climbing so the mountain was difficult to climb and remember students we have done the list where we uh, learned that the is used before the names of mountains also but only the word mountain is not a name when i say himalayas yes that will always be there with the the himalayas right the alps but here when i am talking about only the word mountain we have to see whether we are talking in particular or we are talking in general right there is dash basket on table so there can be any basket there is a basket on we are talking about a particular table that is here on the table we ate lunch at hotel behind our office so that hotel is behind the office that becomes a specific again a particular one so at the hotel behind our office so it's time to recall what we have learned in articles today the two types of articles are definite and indefinite which are the indefinite articles a uh, and very good and the is definite article yes now we use a before consonant sounds and an before vowel sounds very good we'll not say the letters we'll say the initial sounds the starting sound and sometimes of course we don't need to use any article in the sentence it's not that important like i have told you about verbs so i hope you have understood everything in articles let's check out it's time to do exercise Take the correct answer. A and R. What type of articles? Yes, they are indefinite articles. Avnish is 
a clever boy we are talking about one and it is a consonant sound my father bought me dash umbrella yes it is an umbrella because this is a vowel sound we are talking about singular she is dash most beautiful girl in the class o can you see here we are using the superlative degree of adjective yes so we will be using the here very good now correct the following sentences there might be some mistakes in the use of articles let's see might be some wrong article is used might be the article is not used or it is used but it should not be so we have to remove that depends on what type of error it is let's see what are the errors jane is a author oh a is being used before author is it correct no so what should you write jane is an author so you will write the correct sentence here jane is an author okay next muthu is an pilot no what should it be very good it should be muthu is a pilot so you will make the correction and you will rewrite the sentence here earth is a planet okay it is one of the planets it's fine but earth is a universal body right so what will you say the earth so i said sometimes it is not a given you will have to use so it is the earth is a planet you will start like this we have got an big house very nice that means you have understood articles perfectly you have given, given the correct answer we have got a big house i have got admission in good you are there with the answer even before completing the sentence i have got admission in a school right students gurpreet is doctor see here we are talking about singular noun doctor and it is any doctor right so gurpreet is we will have to insert here and we will write from our side gurpreet is a doctor so it was good to have perfect answers from your side which shows yes you are understanding the topics well so are you excited for more sessions ahead we'll be meeting soon again with more interesting topics in grammar till then happy learning children